All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and uh, head after the uh, um, the escaping uh, serpent. Um, now, one, that... one quick note is that I made a mistake with the uh, the rod that Ocker is holding. Um, he pressed button number four again, which just stopped the uh, the extending growth at some point. It has not shrunken it down. I'm going to press button number five this time before we run out after this thing. Okay. This makes it begin to shrink down. Okay. But it takes a, a minute to do so. Oh. Which is probably yeah, the time when... Uh, uh, actually, that, that's probably the time when Laftal healed you, so... Yeah. And now we're heading off after this thing. Okay. Braxton's going to shout out to the ship crew before they leave. If that thing comes back, try shooting one of the harpoons at it. See if it does any damage. Oof. I failed my survival check. Okay. I rolled twice by X. We know vaguely where their base is, don't we? Yeah, else. I know, but I mean, like, this is how we can get there. Getting back is going to be the issue. On is the what way, this means. On, on the way to the lair, I think I'm going to put the rod away for now and switch to my mace. Okay. I'll offer you back the the uh, your short sword. I'm going to say you use it. It'll be... It'll... it'll It'll help you out for this. Fair enough. Do we know yeah, it needs magical weapons? Here. It doesn't need magical weapons. Yeah, but it allows so. you to hit better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I didn't mean it like that. I was just... I'm going to go ahead well, and remove the... Why Elden brought his normal arrows instead of his magic arrows? I'm going to go ahead and remove the bless spell, because that's not going to last. Yeah. Uh, and... No grush. And the only problem with the Floodman's base is the speed. Normally it's like speed 7, and with this it goes up to like, it goes down to speed 6, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, they are they are slower, unfortunately. Okay. Um, it's slow going. Um, it, it's not that there's dense underbrush, it's just that the trees are all, you know, scraggly and uh, Can I... not straight. Um... Damn. Damn. Aww. They're not going to be good for wood. No. Are, are we? What are we currently doing at this very second? Uh, Chasing you're... after the creature. Chasing Trying a flying to. snake. Do you want to do this in silence? It means Lever or me won't be able to use magic, but I could dispel it. Well, first, actually, before we do that, uh, Lever, what are you doing with your illusion? Are you keeping it with you? Can I still walk around? Yes, do but you can, only, you can only walk. Slowly, you can't you can't run. Uh, you know, it's like imagine just you know like not paying attention to really where you're going too much and walking. You can't walk very fast because you have to concentrate on this. Did one of us? I let it drop. I, I think it was really good. It probably helped a little bit, and uh, it showed me what it can do. And uh, but now it's time to let it go. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it is carrying spells so. I was going to ask if we could carry her while she concentrates. <laughs> Piggyback on. Think about what do you mean we? It would yeah. be me that carried her. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, the, uh, Higimus could probably carry me in one hand. It's up to probably. all the full work. It's up to you guys whether you want to do that. If I see her just walking, then yeah, I would pick her up and like, come on, let's get going. <laughs> Well, I mean, keep in mind that you can't like run through the uh, uh, these underbrush, anyways. Yeah. Trees anyway. Okay. Um, how long does this illusion last in total? As long as you concentrate on it. Keep oh. concentrating, then. Yeah. I mean, I obviously, at some point, you would fall asleep. <laughs> you just drop. So I, I will try the following. I, I, I. I... I do oh, ask someone if they can help me walk around, since I won't be able to pay much attention to where we're going, and I'll be only able to walk slowly. And I call, I recall the illusion to me, so it follows us. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I'll just pick her up and carry her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeldon's leading the way, by the way. Do you want I laugh off it still offers? Do you want to do this in silence? And I don't know if this would interrupt your spell casting, but if it's honestly no variable. No, I think we're good without the silence. That's There's fine. no point in hiding, it already knows we're here. 
If you can oh. make it. Uh, question: Can Leva still concentrate when she's just being carried around like a piece of baggage? Uh, how how are you going to carry her, Higamus? On my shoulder. Fireman's carry. No, not fireman's carry. So, like, she's uh, sitting on your shoulder. Yes. Okay. Probably yeah, wide enough. That's okay. We'll have to go shrink himself, and he can get on the other one. <laughs> 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 he just have these spellcasters on his side, like. Now, this would awful. interfere with your, you know, combat, so... Yeah, well, you dismount at that point. Keep that in mind. Dismount? Mm. <laughs> yeah, Stop thinking outside the context. Brax going to make sure he's covering the position around uh, Higimus. Higimus is best pal to mount. Oh, my okay. God. Uh, so... <laughs> It, it takes a while. Um, you you estimated before, you know, that it would have been an hour walk, but uh, it's it's at least uh, uh, two hours uh, before you <laughs> get to what you think is the uh, um, uh, the lair of the creature. Uh, you see ahead of you a tangled mass of uh, uh, phlogiston weed, flow weed. Um, I am trying to leave marks signaling the path that we traveled. Can I do a listen check? Uh, if you get everyone to be quiet, sure. I put it to the party. Do you want to be quiet now? See if I can listen. Sure. But and I say shh. Uh, uh, I say this after I just finished marking one of the trees with my dagger. <laughs> All right. Uh, detect noise for you. Uh, I think Ald rolls that, doesn't he? Yeah. He should do. Um. Sorry. But yeah, actually, let me let me uh. Let me actually roll that. I'll, I'll disregard that. Okay. So I'll just say in future, I do this. Uh, you hear the creaking of uh, trees around you. Um, there is kind of a, 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 a very gentle breeze moving across the, uh, um, the planetoid. Um, but you don't hear anything else at the moment. Do I even recognize what kind of sounds it makes? That I know from previous. Encounters. Well, you would have heard it, you know, making sounds in the battle, like uh, breathing, hissing, or no, nothing like that. O only the loud stuff. You weren't close enough to hear, you know, uh, what what sounds it may have made at rest or anything like that. And it wasn't at rest. Um, but you don't hear anything. You don't hear any animal sounds actually. I say I can't hear anything, but it's probably trying to be as quiet as it can. You know, when you're scared, you hide somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm so, going to keep bleeding the way then and uh, keep marking our path. So one thing that uh, I want to point out, uh, most of you have not seen uh, Phlogiston weed, Flow weed, uh, or Stellar weed, the, uh, um, the weed, the seaweed that uh, is in wild space. In wild space, it tends to be um, dark in color with uh, bright spots. Out here in the Phlogiston, it's rainbow colored. So... This stuff, now that you're close, you know, kind of close to it, you can see this, uh, um, you know, the lair pretty easily. But it's pretty dense. Mm. I'm like... Mm. Do these plants actually Thank grow? Yeldon, Yeldon, in his internal shopping list, puts... Didn't expect you to ever need this. Machete. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to use it, waste it, possibly wreck his swords with it. You have a magic sword. sword, it's fine. Uh, and no, it does not uh, glow. It's just, you know, ra you know, the the colors on it are are kind of swirled and rainbow colored. Mm. It's uh, it's like pastels. Well, it would it would blend in against the background of the phlogiston. I was just thinking, yeah, y'all is like Rex. machete, a sword that's a weapon that's designed to cut through a brush. Rex says, when we killed this monster, I'm going to see if I can uh, find a bit of wood to make a bow out of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then hit taps one of the there. weeds. It's like, this isn't great for making a bow out of. Uh, yeah, it's can, not woody. I'm, and I'm like, and I'm pretty decent at making bows. Well, there's, there's some trees around. Yeah, this is just well, a few trees. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna just keep going. Okay. Well, you're at the edge. 
and it's pretty dense. Uh, do you want to like circle along the edge or what? Yeah, I'll start by circling along the what's edge. Our, what's our footing like? Can we like fall out into the void or something? No, you're not. I mean, no. it's a planet. We have gravity. Yeah, but it's Can a small we... planet, and it's yeah. But wasn't flat. wasn't this extended over the one of the sides? No, no, no. it was. Oh, on so the it planet. went from the flat of the surface up and towards the ship. Well, it's it's kind of in the middle of the uh, the surface. Yeah, it, it flew up from the ship uh, from the oh, surface. Right. At you. Can we uh can we send Actually, someone up what Yeldon? Can we send someone up one of the trees and look for a path? Yeah, it's actually a good idea. Yeldon will climb a tree. Alright, give me a uh, dexterity check. Oh easy. Yep. Uh, easy, he's been doing this his whole life. Yeah, you look yeah. around and you spot a tree that uh um you, you practically don't even need to climb. You can just like walk up it almost. Uh, and it, it the... looks to them that I'm just. It looks. It feels like I'm walking, but to them it probably doesn't. Laughter's like I can do that too. <laughs> he's gonna try. <laughs> Go he's just. He's just doing it for the sake of it. Maybe not as well, but. All right. Uh, you were you climbing the same tree or another tree? No, no, a different tree. Just okay. looking around. He's just doing it because he doesn't like being shown up. <laughs> All right, you're both about uh, 15 feet high uh, now, um, above Higamus's head, and uh, you can see that there's, you know, the 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 mass of it kind of bulges a bit in the center. So um, there's there's like a rise, but whether that's because there's a, you know, like maybe a natural hill there, or uh, whether it's just denser there, it's uh, not possible to tell. Um, there's no clear path though. There is. There is a clear opening in the middle of this, out and up, but you can't see anything uh, like an opening along the edge that you can see right now. Now, it could easily be uh, hidden by uh, other trees. Do you think we could swing from tree to tree? No. No, there's, there's <laughs> no vines high. here. And they're not that high. Now, the mass yeah, like... is pretty dense. You might be able to climb on top of the, the uh, phlogiston weed. The flow weed. We could try climbing on it. I don't know how any, everybody else is good at climbing. But... Uh, We're Bra taking our time. Braxton's going to try standing on some of the phlogiston weed. Uh, See if he sinks mean... into it. So this is. I don't it's know like... if Hickam it will actually hold Hickamus's weight now that I think about it. Wait, Are we trying this... to climb something? Oh, you're going to use a rod. It's up to yeah. you guys. Uh, if we're trying well, to climb this thing, then I will take out the rod and press button number four to get the climbing rod. Well, it's not that it's very, I mean, it's not very high. Um, again, on, on the edge here, it's it's really only about uh, 10, 15 feet high. Uh, um, the, you know, this mass of the uh, uh, phlogiston weed. Um, oh, in that case, I could just boost everybody over. Oh, then we'll just do that. But it's not a wall. It's not it's a over. Mass. It's not. A, it's a mass. You have. You will literally be walking on top of it. Yeah. And, I'm wor and what Yaldan's worried about is it won't hold Higamus's weight. And you can see that. Uh, you know. I mean, this is all mixed in with trees. So this grew in. You know, within the forest. So there are trees in there. Hmm. Yeah. Let's Yeldon's just go like, ahead. Uh, go uh, for uh, it. I'm gonna suggest Higamus go first to see if he can hold his weight. Yeah, let's Braxton's start. already Braxton's already climbing up onto it. All right, give oh, me I put uh, for anyone oh, who's doing that. One second, I, I put uh, Leva down. Yeah, yeah, you would need to. <laughs> what do I have to roll, Lord? Dexterity check, one d twenty. Dexterity check. Can I Sorry, Leva that. just send our minion like floating over? Yeah. Oh, Braxton, Braxton really got this too. All right, Braxton, uh, you easily uh, get up. It 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 is definitely uh, strong enough to support your weight. Uh, Higamus, you hey. start to climb, and there are easy handholds and footholds, but um, when you put your weight on it, it it bends too much and uh, collapses down. Okay. Well, there goes the mass. No, it's just uh, one spot, the the climbing hold he was trying to use. It doesn't look like it's going to uh, support your weight to get up onto it. Okay. And this is cool. the only way we can get to the lair? 
well, it's the only way that you see right now. Can we okay. throw Higamus on top of it? <laughs> and then I when he squashes the weed, then throw, pick him up Rex... and throw him a bit further. Can, can you, you pick up Higamus? You... Rex, and couldn't you send up the rope? Yeah. Uh, no I one's don't... strong enough to contain his weight, even if we were all holding on to it, he would outpull all of us. No, well, I thought, I, I was thinking about hanging the rope from a tree and then hanging it to another tree and mm -hmm. climbing along the rope. It could work, but it's more than likely is what Hig Higamus would do is when he puts his weight anywhere else other than the rope, it would well, create a... Actually, it would create a path, maybe. Do you want to circle around this area? How How big was it from your memory? It's fairly large. It's fairly big. But we could try circling around it to see if there's a way in, you yeah. know? I make sure I mark the tree that I just climbed for this is the way we've passed through. All right. So when we finish circling around it, if we encounter that tree again. So you guys are going to circle around? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, after about another hour of... Uh, um, you know, walking around the uh, outside, poking and prodding at uh, um, parts of it. You come to a, a, a part where it looks like it's less dense. Uh, you might be able to cut through it fairly easily. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a mark and an arrow in the direction that we came from. All right. On a nearby tree. I suggest we try to cut through here. Yeah. It's the best Sounds spot. Good. Uh... All right, who's going to going to take his uh, cur current primary and start primary longsword and start hacking away. Okay. Um it's pretty tough uh fibrous material, but uh with some some chops it it gives way. Um it, it's it doesn't look like it's dulling the blade. It's just kind of like spongy and and springy. So it, it's like your your weapon doesn't get a, a good uh, cut into it, but it's not dulling the blade. Uh, but you do eventually uh, cut in, and it looks like there's uh, um, you know, some, some less dense spots uh, ah ahead that you could continue cutting or pushing your way through. Is it easy with a dagger? No, I'm using my long sword. Well, you don't I'm know. Asking you, haven't all... tried, you haven't tried with a dagger. Yeah, well, breakfast try now. Okay. Uh, if you, you grab a, a hold of it, you can cut with a dagger, but you're not really sure that it's any faster. It right. doesn't seem like it's any slower. Laughter will try with a short sword. Well, it should be faster if you work together. Yep. Yeah. Well. Oh, you don't or need to... How are Higamus try swinging? It's great, great sword. Great. Cleave. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, let's see. give Higamus a go with his great sword. Since Make I sure mentioned... gets out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you... if you guys want to go in here and start hacking away, you can certainly do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that seems like uh, that's how effective is Higamus's great sword? Is the real question. Uh, it's a uh, little bit more effective, but uh, uh, not that much more. We we okay. should have we should have gone to look for a, a scythe plus one uh, back at Brow. <laughs> no, I, I'm like I'm gonna next time we're on Brow. I'm gonna... So very useful. Are you just gonna just kind of... like? Aim for the uh, uh, the weakest parts and, and keep hacking away until you find something? Yeah. yeah. We're going to head towards the center as much as we can. We can take it in turns. So someone can do a few bit of hacking and then someone else can swap over. Okay. Um, it's not terribly quiet, uh, but it's also not loud. I mean, it's not... Uh, it, it's not like you're, you're creating a racket. But it's much too loud for you to hear anything else over the sound of this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a minute. It's like, okay, after I think we're about halfway through, I'm going to ask Laughter the cast to silent. You want me to silent this area? Uh, I can do. People don't want, uh, want me to. Uh, last for uh, about eight minutes, eight rounds. Might might be worth doing the spell on someone's weapon. Oh yeah, I can just cast on myself. But the radius just... around an item. Yeah, whatever we're doing, we're just gonna be silent. It's a fifteen foot radius. Okay. You know what? If you cast it on an arrow, 
and you didn't want to silence anymore, you could fire the arrow away. I can describe well, that. Uh, the idea is that um, I, I want I when actually. we're cl- actually now that I think about it, halfway through is not close enough if it's only going to last eight. Minutes. I think uh, you you might want to keep the silent thing from me away from liver. Oh, I hang on, I'm just checking. Oh, if I, I can just spell uh, the idea the oh, idea is um, that no, I can I just can't. Uh... it will last until it lasts. Well, I can get away from... Oh, it'd be better if we cast on one of the fighters, as long as they're well, running. Yeah. Or one of the arrow... My arrow. My arrows. I Brett, Brett. cast on an arrow, I guess. Brett, the idea uh, is, is that I want. I just want the silence spell just to get through this last bit of force just before we get to the creature, so it, it's still there. What does it help, having a silence spell against the creature? You won't know where... Coming. It won't know that we're close. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will. Because this is quite loud. Or something of the likes. But I'll say wait till we're three quarters through the way of the way, though. You can't tell how far through you are. Yeah. You prop someone up on um, top of. Yeah, um, climb up. Try to climb up on. Like, yeah, but we also. To the surface and then climb up. We right, also don't you have know to how have good it is above are. to get out. Higamus is like, how tall? We don't know how good the creature's ears are. We're just going to have to guess. You know what? I'm going. To, I'm going to uh, take Tayan and ask him to 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 scout the head. Find out where it is. It might it's devour it's better that than anybody else's. He is. He is really nervous. He doesn't like the smell of this place. Do you still want him to go? Don't force your pet to go into places where it doesn't want to. Yeah, we we don't need to take the risk. It could, you could tell him to stay inside the vines. It might not be able to get him, but at the same time, I don't know. Tony's probably got no experience about what creatures would eat it. Uh, oh, maybe. Oh, uh, you know what? Just screw the silence. Let's just keep going. We're not going to surprise it. No, no if I he wants to cast either. silence, let him do it. Oh no, it I, was, I don't mind was... either way. I've I've got no. No bearing on this. Okay, either let's do it or let's not. Right, that's the thing, is that you either need to do it or, or don't do it. Let's not and just keep cutting our way uh-huh. through. Okay. Yeah, we just cut our way through them without it. Okay. No surprise. Uh, it takes uh, overall a good uh, hour of cutting, um, but you finally break through into uh, what appears to be um, you know, an, an, a larger opening. You can see the sky above you. Uh, and you can also see right ahead of you uh, an actual cave down into the asteroid. It's fairly shallow oh. at this point, though. Oh boy, here we go. Right. Braxton, Braxton jogs to one side of the cave. Yeldon's yeah, so going to take up position on the other side with his bow out. So it looked like it's going to be dark in there? Yeah. Can I do another listen check in there? Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, yeah, you roll. tell everyone to uh, be quiet. Everyone, shh, a minute. I'm going to see if I can hear something. Uh, no, you can't hear anything. No. You're not sure why. Um... Well, I can't hear anything. Well, no, I'm sorry. You can't you, you can't hear anything from the cave. Uh but to you that seems a little bit strange because uh Can I throw a pebble in? Uh, you can. A smallish some, something that looks like it makes a natural sound, not not something artificial, like, you know, a piece of mud yeah. sliding along. Yeah. Uh you pick up a pebble and throw it in and um you you initially hear some some stone on stone, but at, you know after the first bounce, uh, it's very very muffled, and you don't hear it again after that. But you can s- clearly see it make a third bounce. Silence hmm. spell, I say. No, it's just the environment. It might just be, yeah, uh, not rear. Oh, don't know how you pronounce that word. V re reverberating around. It's hard to sell. Yeldin, it's hard to tell from Yeldin, outside. Yeldin's yeah, gonna so I mean, look down as far as he can. 
Uh, uh, okay. Go, go ahead. Go ahead and give me a, a survival check, Yeldon. Okay, uh, looking in, uh, it looks like the, uh, shortly after the, the entrance of the cave, um, a little bit, you know, deep in, uh, it looks like there is some stone-colored moss covering everything. Ah, stone-colored moss. Stone-colored? Say. It's so what's... It's, yeah, it's just gray moss as opposed to green. Mm. This is a flood. Does my uh, do I see any wait? spores in the air from the rock? Um, hold on. Uh, so the illusion has no weight. It's just an illusion. And what was it's that, not... Yeldon? Does the spore? Does there any spores from where the rock hit? You don't see anything. I mean, nothing that. It's it's, it's dark, so it's hard to see. Right, Braxton's putting a, his bow away, and he's going to take out his lantern and aid his burden. Take, wait, put the wait, put the lantern wait. on a rope and lower the rope down. See, see if we can don't see. Don't light more. the lantern. The lantern it... uses fire. No, we got a magical lantern. No, it's magic lantern. Oh. Continual so light. We've fire? had this for a while. <laughs> I know. I know you've had a traumatic experience with fire recently, <laughs> but still. <laughs> I'm scared it's around fire right now. So, um, is this hole something you can walk down, or is it steep? You can walk in, yeah. Right. Uh, do uh, I have my things on me? It's not like so, a shaft down. It's no, I don't. it's a sloping, uh, a shallow slope that goes in. So <sighs> Braxton's going to say, unless someone else wants to go first, I'm going in. We don't have to do any climbing checks when we're going down. It's that easy, isn't it? Uh, doesn't look like you'd need to do any climbing checks. I'm Braxis. gonna. Braxis I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go in, and Braxis. he's gonna he's gonna say, "Watch out for this moss in case it's slippery," and he's gonna test his footing with each step. I'm gonna. Do you want Braxis. some rope? He yeah, has his magic rope. rope. Yeah, and then we're holding on to it. Well, you're. No, no, no. It. He's just going in. All right. Yeah, and Yeldon's following he, with his bow he's, out. He's Braxton. He's just going in. All right, give me a dexterity check. <laughs> okay. If you slip... Well, you are being careful, so... Uh, it definitely does feel a little bit slippery, but uh, not not too bad. Um... Rax is going to okay. let people know it's a little bit slippery. I'm going to roll my dex check next. I'm following right after him. Fuck, oh. I failed. <laughs> no, actually, uh, you, your your foot does slide a bit, um, but then you you uh, catch your footing. It's slippery, but not that bad. We're not okay. exactly rushing in. We're we're take, taking yeah. our time as well. So, hey, Camus, am I still on your shoulder? No, you put you down. Yeah. No, I put you down. Okay. But it was easy to to follow th after everyone while they were hacking away. Because we're hacking slow. away through the bushes, it was taking time. Yeah, and moving fairly slowly. This is going to be where Higamus slips over and takes the rest of us out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will uh, go fl flying down the, the slope. The other turns around and says, "Hurry up!" <laughs> and motions is like, "Come on, guys!" Are are you uh, um, opening up the lantern so that you can see ahead? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, Brexton already. Did, did the lantern before you went in. Well, I wasn't sure if you actually... I mean, I, you said you pulled it out, but I wasn't sure if you were actually... No, no, no. The, the Sorry, hook. I'm just clarifying. Okay. All right. I'm going to follow then. Because uh, Braxton's got no um, sort of night vision. Yeah. Okay. Um, knowing that uh, it's kind of slippery and uh, uh, everything like that, I'm not. I'm going to just wave uh, dexterity checks for everyone else. Now that you have Tiff. an idea that it is slippery. Um, clank, clank, yeah, it's going to just go in? Clank. Everyone? Yep. It must be horrible climbing in plate mail. It is. Well, it's not climbing. Yeah, wow. it's not that steep, but... Yeah, He's I mean... not exactly got good grip on his boots. I imagine I make a clinking sound whenever I walk, like, heavy enough to from do... Final Fantasy IX. Embed yourself in. 
Okay. Uh, the the cave seems to um, even out after it goes down. Uh, you know, under the earth, maybe uh, twenty feet or so. And my bow and arrow are ready. Are we using our hands to climb down or walk down? We're not climbing. Sorry. It's just a, it's a slope. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, but do we in. do we need to use our hands to like hold no. on to something something? There? No. I mean, you can if you want, if you want to go along the edge, but you don't need to. No, then I'll have my bow as well. What what's the order that everyone is going in? I'll oh, go Brax third. Brax and first. Yeldon. Who's third? I will. Okay. Levi's last. All right, where are you, Higgins? Second to last or third to sure. last? Second to last? Second to last is fine. Okay. Um, now that you're in the cave, uh, Laftel, um, you can hear a sound from up ahead. Uh, and it's. You can even hear it over the sound of um, everyone walking. Everyone else the, can hear it, uh, also. No, drip. only you. I meant you to just buy to. Drip. Listen, be quiet, and everyone listen. Can you hear that? the The sound is a uh, kind of a, a keening sound, and it kind of keening sound. It, it's just like, um, it's probably crying over its lost mate. Oh, is it keening over in pain? Was it? Well, I... it's it's hard to tell what. You know why it might be happening, but it's a it's a high pitched, uh, you know, keening sound. It it kind of comes in in waves like, key key kind All of thing. Right, you know? Like a sound, yeah, like a creature sound, but higher pitched than that. Yeah, and it's definitely a um, well, you Unnatural. think it's a creature like sound. a wail. Oh. It's almost like it's wailing or crying or something. I can tell it's a, a living sound, so to speak, an animate sound. You think it is. Well, Yeldon's gonna keep going. I'm gonna uh, follow. You try and overtake Braxton. Are you staying in the uh, the order? Yeah. Yeah, we're staying in order. Okay. Yeah. Yeldon would let uh, Aka pass him. Well, no, I'm going in order. Yeah, Braxton. No, what I'm saying is, Yeldon will stop a bit to let Bra to let Aka go ahead of him because Ar he knows Aka's melee, so. Okay then. More of a melee Front guy. Row. Okay. Uh the the cave curves around a bit and uh um opens up uh into a much larger cave and you can see um that in addition to the uh, uh the moss, uh there's also a lot of the flow weed. Uh it looks like it's it's kind of dull, like maybe it's uh um dead. Most of you aren't familiar with flowweed, so it's hard to say. Um, mm. But it's kind of like uh, uh, piled up around. And you do see uh, bleeding on top of uh, uh, one pile of this uh, you know, kind of grayish, brownish uh, uh, flowweed. Um, the large serpentine creature that you, uh, you were fighting before. However, it is not making the keening sound, and you are not sure where it's coming from, but it is clearly coming from this room. Uh, oh, boy. I need everyone to uh, make uh, um, initiative checks as it uh, rears up and slithers at you. Oh, it's a mother. It's guarding its nest. Oh, fun. Well, Yeldon's a hunter. He, I, I don't think Yeldon will feel remorse. He's a hunter. Yeah. Well... I feel kind he of bad, sort of but... he did that. He did. He's killed plenty of baby animals to live, to survive. Is yeah, this... but you would probably not kill that many. No, I mean... but only out of necessary necessity, usually. Necessity. But he's willing to. He, I don't know if he'll mind. I don't know if he'll let something live like this after killing its parent. Can I um cast something in front of people? I was going to cast very far. Is there enough room to cast that? I mean, you can cast it on a thing. I mean, on a creature. Yeah, whatever is coming at us. I'm having yeah. that spell ready to cast that whatever comes at us. Yeah, you can cast it at the. Uh, um... Yeah, on your turn. 
I think he wants to cast it before it can't finish. Well, I didn't say that, but um, if the situation allows, then I will do so. Yeah, you can try to cast it on the... Because uh, um, it's a so... power, not a spell, so like pretty instant. Well, it's plus three, which may actually be mm-hmm. slower than the spell. Is it? All, all special wow. powers are plus three. Anything that's natural to you is plus three. Well, I'm fast anyway, so... <laughs> so, yeah. But that is yeah. My, that's just my intent anyway. Whatever odd rules he rolls, so... Okay, everyone uh, rolled initiative? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're not using that power? No, I am. Okay, that's so you're actually I'm... moving at five. Oh, is it not? I rolled a two plus. Oh, is it? You rolled two plus one. Have I not been doing the right fairy fire then? I guess I've never had the right modifier for it. So cast times three. The well, the for the special power, special powers are always uh, um, plus uh, three initiative modifier. I had them as plus one, so I've been doing them wrong. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, five. Okay, Uh, Leva. I keep on concentrating. I send the uh, illusion to the thing coming towards us. Where is that illusion placed? Uh, She's been just having it following us. Yeah, behind. Can it get past us? It's an illusion. It can pass through us. Oh. It's it's flying as well, so it can just fly over us. The cave is Mm -hmm. is fairly large. Uh, It's got a good 20-foot ceiling. So it can fly over us and at it. Yeah. If possible, I had it hover over us. Okay. Uh, it claws at it, but uh, the creature uh, completely ignores it. Uh, oh. As in, yeah. it's an illu- it hit, but it, it displeased the illusion at one point. All right. Okay. Laughing. You're... Yeah, ignite, lighting it up. Okay. Um, you attempt Until... to do so... Oh. I attempt to do so? You attempt to do so, but uh, you can... So, only once fully enveloped does it actually take effect. And you attempt to fully envelop this uh, uh, thing, and you realize that it is much too large. Can I not do the head of it or something? You you have (laughs) to fully envelop a uh, a creature or object for it to have the effect. Damn! Uh, I can only do 50 feet. It's bigger than that, man. Well, you can... Basically, the amount that you can do is uh, equals one man-sized uh, creature per level. And this is much larger than that. Oh, alright. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, Braxton? Uh, Braxton's gonna try and Move forward and clobber it with 80's burden. Okay. Is he in range? You you can move move ahead and, and attack it, yeah. Okay. Hey, you hit! That is a yes. hit. Yes! Yes! Saving third oh, versus I'm... spell! Yay! Oh, I have to take one off for the uh, damage if it's a yeah. large opponent. So that would be four points. Okay. And oh, saving throw versus spell. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. the 80s burdens thing we jig. Alright. Uh, you did uh, four points of damage. I'm surprised these effects are not wearing off, these magical enchanted effects. What magical cha- enchanted effects? I mean, our, our weapons with enchantments. I didn't realize they were permanent. Uh, they are. The plus, the. Like plus is permanent, but uh, yeah. But I thought they'd have like some burden uses. thing. Ages burden thing might not be. Yeah, no. I mean, it depends entirely on the weapon and everything like that. Sometimes they are permanent. It just depends. Okay. Uh, one. Uh, so the the large uh, serpent. Uh, now it's it's focused entirely on on you, Braxton. Um, it's <laughs> not attacking just yet, but uh, slithering and 
hovering from around the uh, um, body of it is a smaller one, uh, significantly smaller. Uh, it is going to... It's attacking too? Yeah, it opens okay. its mouth and uh, um, a pulse of uh, uh, light comes out at you, Braxton. Give me a saving throw versus breath weapon. It's fair game now. Well, mm, okay. It is and not the, one making the keening sound, by the way. If if there's no treasure, we might we might want to back off. Yeah, we can't back off, not in any reasonable time frame. You can see it's some too things, late now. You can see some things glittering in here. Right. <laughs> right, that's a GM say <laughs> treasure. Don't lose okay, the treasure. so um. I don't know whether that's good enough. It is not. Uh, the uh, um, the pulse of light uh, that it breathes out uh, streaks over and uh, hits you full in the chest for five points of damage. You stagger Ouch. a little bit, but not, not much. Yeldon's eye, in Yeldon's eyes, if it attacks back, and I've been thinking about this, Yeldon will not leave a baby alive if he killed all the parents. Because it, he thinks how. it's too cruel. Well, I mean, you could always try raising it yourself too. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, if you, I mean, I don't I mean, know if Yeldon would think that though. It, but if you he came across, across let's if, not get into the prisoner day di dilemma today. If you came across a um a fawn, uh, and it's you know you you uh, saved a fawn from being eaten by uh, wolves, you could you could raise the fawn. Oh yeah, but I don't know. Out of curiosity. I'll have to think about what would Yeldon would do. Yeah, no, that's fine. I, I'm just I'll... put that out there, and uh, it's Ocker's turn. You okay, know... I'm gonna go for the big thing, and I'm gonna whack it in the face with my footman with this weird footman's mace that has like an hourglass kind of thing. Uh, before you roll, do you want it to have the effect? Let me double check the effect. It's a stun. Uh. Stun. Do 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 do. Yes, I will use the effect. Okay. So it's a so I roll a one d twenty. Yep. That go with this weapon is a sixteen. All right. Did you include the non proficiency? No, he's proficient. Penalty? I'm proficient with this weapon type. I'm That's why I handed him the base. Yeah. Yeah, I'm proficient with the shield, sword, long sword, light crossbow, go and the uh, footman's base. Nice. Right, that is a hit. Nice. So it so one d six and it's a large creature. Yep. So that's one d six plus two instead of one d six plus three. And it gets affected by the uh, it's stu it would be stunned for one round and slowed for one d four plus one rounds. So, uh, do you want me to roll no, how I, many rounds it's slow? I take care of that. I take care okay. of that. Okay. Because you don't know how long it, it lasts. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and create a thing. <clears throat> okay, Interesting. This could be... So you automatically lose one round of slowness because it's stunned. Okay, this could be how you get your wild space version of a, a war horse. It breathes. <laughs> oh god, that would actually be kind of cool, but uh, I'm not sure if that's what Ald had in mind. All right, Ocker. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm, like... I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was like, uh, I, I like what? Right. I already did my turn. Let's see. Right, so... One of us captures it. I can you speak with animals? It might work. I might be able to. Capture it and tame it and raise it. Just saying. I wouldn't it's... mind that idea. Just uh, we'll think about that when it comes to it. Mm. We'll see. We'll right, see. Like we... uh, so the big one, right? Yep. Uh, still around and looking health. Well, not healthy. I guess I'll uh, go up and uh, take a slash at it. Okay. Yeah, it is most definitely not healthy and. Uh, um... It, it, it seems hard to say, but it seems kind of in a daze. Remember, you huh. get a plus four to hit because of stun. 
Oh. Yeah. Not that it matters. Is, it, is it hurt? Is it... <laughs> Do you want to roll the damage? Yes. Six, roll the six damage. points of damage? Yeah, roll, roll, the, roll damage. the damage. Oh my god. This is like fireball damage, oh by the way. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Roll the damage, buddy! I want to see this damage! Oh, 66, isn't it? Oh my. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> that, <laughs> that is amazing! <laughs> I don't Look think I've ever the... seen that before. <laughs> Look at all those ones! That is, that is absolutely amazing. You know, just those first four, that would be a, a, an ability score of three, rolling 46 drop low. Mm. That is amazing. I have never actually seen that. Uh, still, Holy... nonetheless, you cut its head off, and there is Not a uh, there is a, a spray of blood from its uh, uh, neck uh, as it as the head as falls. Hey, come it's just bathed in it. <laughs> oh, see, now I have to buy a manor house and put this above the uh, mantle. <laughs> <laughs> no oh way of God. preserving that head. You're a monster! Not it an evil way, but you're a monster when it comes to how much damage you can do. You know what's funny about the to Ocker? Hingamus is a monster. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hingamus um, is gonna have to... Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, Hingamus is gonna have to put that in a barrel of brandy to preserve it. Oh, I don't have anything to hold this thing. Yeah, or preserve it. So yeah, it's unfortunately for the. For I probably years, will well. take a fang or something from it, though. Uh, oh, no. It has. It has. It actually has teeth rather than fangs, but uh, it's not a snake. Mm. Imagine if you as did forty-seven damage. Okay. Well, uh, there is a, another creature that uh, uh, slithers up over uh, the body of um, its now deceased parent. And uh, seeing you standing over its parent with the uh, um, bloody sword, <laughs> uh, I'm going to need you to make a saving throw versus uh, breath weapon after I roll for magic resistance. Wait, how many of these little things are there? Uh, you see a second one now. And we this one is not sure. the one keening. So yeah. All right. No. Failure! Okay. Oh, that would have been like, uh, if he has magic resist, it, it, it's easy to kill its, its parent, and then it blasts you, and it does nothing. <laughs> Five points of damage. Morale check. Oh. Okay. Uh... Oh, I actually chose one of these. Anyways. Uh, Alright, so, um... You can still hear the keening sound, and it was not one of those two uh, that uh, is keening. Yeldon, your turn. Nope, I missed. Were you with uh, the bow? Yep. Okay, uh, go ahead and make your second attack, then. That was the last one. Hey, that's a hit. All right, which one were you going after? The uh, the first one? Uh, uh, whichever one wasn't was the are... least obstructed. Okay. Um, they're both fairly large, so uh, I'm gonna say the the first one that appeared. Go ahead and roll for damage. Five damage. Okay. Uh, your arrow sinks into its uh um scaly hide. And it's initiative time. I get to roll one less because you, you killed the parent so quick. I'm sorry. I know, Were I'm you so sad. That? In here, I wanted it to breathe on you guys again. <laughs> In close proximity. You just wanted to kill... You just wanted to have an excuse to blast Akar in the face again with magic. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any room for... Well. Uh, well, wow. for the rest of us. Uh, yeah, well, these are pretty shit. large. Braxton's huh. moving fast. That I think that's the fastest Braxton's ever been, ever. I'm pretty so sure he can miss first. I'm pretty sure you've moved at that right before. Yeah, you. I'm pretty sure you've rolled a one before. Mm. 
He's for the initiative. fastest thing alive. <laughs> no, no, he's don't... not the Flash. No, I was going Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, right. Everyone I rolled? don't think Brax Braxton needs his own theme tune. <laughs> Everyone rolled? Yeah. Yep. I got a really bad roll. Okay, Braxton. Right, okay, so Braxton's going to swing Aegis Burden okay. at the thing that uh, breathed on him. All right. This is the one that uh, Yeldon uh, hit with the arrow? Yeah. Uh, and he's going to miss. Yep. Uh, uh, he's missing had, again. He had two. Yeah, but he missed quickly. Are we sure that Braxton is a skilled warrior? <laughs> <laughs> This is when Braxton leaves the group and goes off to do something. All right, love it. <laughs> He's found himself an asteroid. Plenty of trees. I direct my illusion to one of the small ones. Okay. To the hurt one, actually, because that one might be more distracted. And uh, direct it to attack. Okay. And it claws at it, uh, and it, it uh, hisses in apparent pain. Of course, we see no wounds where it leaves. Why not? I mean, if, if it hurt us, then uh, the illusions that hurt us, uh, the, the wounds were visible. You got, well, but visible. all of you know that it's an illusion. You can see the yeah. wounds, but they're clearly illusionary. Okay. Uh, oh, the lo the wounds are illusionary too. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, uh, if something, if you expect something to be real, and it claws at it, then you see what you expect to to see with illusions. Uh, okay. Remember oh. Hikimu's uh, fainting. Yeah, and Yeldon told me to uh. abandon him. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> and... He's dead. All right, uh, I'm rolling. This Fuck. nope, it's not your turn yet. Oh. Uh, no. The oh. uh, the creature is going to uh, the one that uh, you guys have both attacked. Uh, it's going to attack uh, Braxton. It's going to bite him. Ow! And that is going to be a hit. Oh, ouch! Bite on Braxton. Oh, I have to use a different die for this. Because it's this smaller. Out. Four points of damage. So. As oh, you feel its teeth D4. sink into you. Into your arm. Ugh. Are they now poisonous teeth? Go... You don't know. No. I don't know. You don't know. Uh, Laftal. Now, it's it's teeth, not fangs. Th these are not yeah. snakes. Right. They're kind of like eels. Mm, if no, I they're, not fish. Per... they're not fish. Yeah, uh, they're, they're not fish, but... 16. What were you attacking with? Uh, short sword. Okay, uh, were you running at the, uh, um... I'm going for whatever I can hit. Whatever creature. Okay, then it's gonna be the same one that, uh, everyone else is attacking. Mm-hmm. Alright. Go ahead and, uh, you hit. Oh, so, yeah. Yay! Oh, so, six... Oh, AC two so far. Alright. Uh, you stab it with your short sword, wait, and... Wait, that's uh... only a plus one? I'm sorry? I've got a short sword plus one, yeah. You got an exclamation mark. Uh, oh, yeah, six, that's six damage. Yeah, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> that does one extra point of damage. You don't have to redo it left. I think he. I think I'll understand yeah. the way it is. Uh, you uh, you stab it with your uh, your blade, and uh, um, it slumps down to the ground. It's still yeah. breathing, however. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, that's the one that was hit with the illusion. Oh, because it's taken illusionary damage. I guess we can somehow restrain it and bring it with us as a pet? No. Is it young enough, though? Yeldon's going to say no. We'll find. All right. Why uh, don't we check out what's making the keening sound first? The one yeah. that uh, popped up above uh, um, the its parent's body is going to come in and attack uh, your face, Higamus. Not my face. Yes, your face. It's biting your nose. <laughs> Not <laughs> Not the, the nose. 
Uh, but you, you're able to dodge aside as it, it just kind of like flies past and starts uh, flying around your head. Not his snout. Um, his fine snout. Now, you can finally see what uh, is making the keening sound as, uh, um, you know, all of your, your sounds have apparently tracked, uh, attracted a third one. Um, it's crawling on the face, uh, on the, not on the face, it's crawling on the ground, um, coming around the, this big mound that its parent was on. And it's just, like, constantly keening, and it's just moving. Doesn't seem like... It's moving towards you, but not towards any one of you. It's... Can we tell that it's enough? It's smaller than the others, that's all you can tell. Yeah. Right. Yeldon, your turn. Shooting the one that just packed Higamous. Okay. 17. Sacco is, like, less than that. Alright. Uh, Higamous, one or two? One. Oh, they're the same size? Okay, go ahead and roll damage, Yeldon. One damage. Alright, uh, your arrow threads right between uh, Higamus's, uh, right by Higamus's face and hits the creature on uh, as it's swinging around uh, Higamus's nose. Think... Yeldon yeah, winces how, how close that was and is like, okay, it's time to drop the bow. Yeah, actually, uh, I should have mentioned that these are uh, large creatures. Um, so it would have been more damage from you, Laptal, but it's fine. Uh, that's neat. Well, it may have been more damage. I mean, a 5 is pretty good on a d6. Well, I got 6. Well, I, I know, but you rolled a 5 on a d6, which is pretty good. Alright, Ocker? Okay. I'm going to swing at the one on Higamus. Are you going to use the uh, uh, charge? Not this time. I don't want to... Is it on Higamus? No, it, it's not. It's just flying around his head. I am so, dual wielding. Do I, I have it... the last what, round? Is it Sorry. possible that I might accidentally hit him if I roll badly? That's what I want to know. If you critically fail, yes. But then it's Ooh. always there's always a chance of something like I'm that. I'm not going to waste the failure. charge on this thing. Uh, Yeah, you would have gotten your second attack. Well... You could have stabbed. Uh, um... I'm not that bothered by it. I think we're yeah. gonna win this fight. Okay, I hit. <laughs> I'm not using my charge, so. Uh... That's a hit. Roll so I want to figure out how much damage my dagger's gonna plus do. Plus two, because this is a large creature, not a medium. Here's a Damn. question: Can you activate a command word when you stab something with it? Uh, depends on. Hmm. The situation in the uh, um, weapon. Like, like laugh that. does laugh does fire an ice dagger. Impale it and keep it impaled. It wouldn't, it wouldn't do any different.